Hello, welcome back to the fourth semester. Uh, it's kind of surreal to meet you on the YouTube. Um, this is the first lecture on the uh, ECE 202. Uh, I normally talk about the syllabus in the first lecture, uh, but uh, we will discuss that details in, in class. Um, here I want to uh, spend a few minutes in the first lecture to discuss two things. The first thing is the platform we're going to use to share the um, documents, uh, share the course materials. The primary, <coughs> um, the primary pr platform I'm going to use is the Google Colab. I just want to say a few words about Google Colab. What you are seeing here in screen uh, is the um, Google Colab that I opened. This is a document I put it on my Google Drive, and I can share this. This is the, the file, uh, which is basically a Jupyter notebook uh, file. Uh, I can easily share with you. Uh, just give you the link. Uh, the Google Colab essentially is a Jupyter notebook. It's running in a browser. Uh, you can execute the code. Uh, on the uh, any devices, uh, the browser could be any different types. Uh, the Google not only providing the uh, platform, but also providing the resources that the CPUs, the RAM that uh, that supports the um, in the back background or the that the powers the background. Uh, the there are two different types of cells in the uh, Google Colab. Uh, the one type of cells, which I in the first lecture I pretty much use only one type of cells. Uh, this is called the text cells. It's essentially the Markdown language. And if I double click, and this is the what the Markdown language is. So you have a hashtag that will give you the the headings, if you have double hashtag, like the second level of headings, things like that. I'm not going to go through these details. Uh, I encourage you to watch the YouTube clip. I put a link here, and this YouTube clip will introduce uh, the basic concept. Really, three minutes uh, introduce the basic concept of the, uh, the Google Colab and the features Google Colab. So I'm going to use this as a platform to share the course materials and all the uh, links to the lecture notes I will add later uh, to this uh, the root document here. And also this uh, Google Colab has a nice sort of table of contents. You can easily navigate uh, you can easily navigate to different um, different sections of the document. Uh, and uh, uh, so that's about a Google Colab. We're going to pick up this uh, Python language over, I mean, some of the examples. I'm not uh, teaching the language itself because it does not need to be taught. Uh, it's, it's so intuitive, you can pick up the language in a couple of hours. With the example that I have, you can just pick up the language very naturally, just as the MATLAB is used. But this is the Python, since Python is open source, you don't really need any. Um, uh, any um, copies installed on the, uh, I mean, you don't need uh, any license, things like that. Um, but this is way more powerful than the any software I have been using. I know it's not super efficient, but for a majority of tasks we have in schools, this is more than enough uh, in terms of efficiency. Okay, that's about the uh, Google Colab, the platform we're going to use. And the second thing is, I want to address the one of the kind, the most important aspects of the learning ECE uh, 202. Uh, in the past, uh, I taught this course a few times. In the past, students talked to me and saying this course is way too difficult. Well, I just want to address that uh, that barrier there. Um, the there is a secret here. 
I think it's well kept secret. Um, is is that the course? I mean, itself is not really that difficult because we have very little math involved. Uh, we have uh, a little bit of trigonometry in terms of phasors, stuff like that, and a little bit of calculus, the transformations, the property of the, the phasors, and also Laplace transform. I mean, the 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 the, the, the the math involved in this course is really very minimal. Um, what is making this course seemingly difficult is that the things can accumulate very quickly. Right? So let's see if you have the voltage division, current division, uh, the control of the current law, control of the voltage law, a few things they can add up very quickly to make the problem seemingly very complicated. So if you can understand each every step for each lecture, I call it a clean up. If you can clean up every lecture, they don't let things accumulate and this will gonna be very easy cruise throughout the semester for this course. Okay, so uh, I just want I mean give you the tip of this this course you may use this tip for other courses um, really you don't really want things to accumulate I mean the bad things to accumulate uh, the learning is an integration process that means your knowledge accumulate over time but also if you have confusing you have the kind of fuzzy spots. It's they can very uh, they can accumulate very quickly. So just uh, clean up everything. If you don't understand, come to my office hours. Um, so I'm gonna set up a Zoom office hour for Monday and uh, Wednesday. I have this in the syllabus, so you can come to the Zoom uh, the office hours and we can discuss and clean things up. That's really really important. Okay. With that, uh, I'm going to end this video. Uh, so uh, if you're not from MSU, if you like the content of the video, make sure you subscribe and um, uh, keep this channel growing. Thank you.